The Zhao Yi Jewelry Store in Beijing, China, houses a small museum displaying filigree inlay art pieces on the third floor. Originated more than 2,000 years ago, filigree inlay is now considered an important part of China's cultural heritage. This is a replica of the crown worn around 1600 AD by Empress Xiao Duan, consort of Emperor Wan Li of the Ming Dynasty. The jewelers who made this spectacular replica first carefully measured and analyzed the original crown recovered from the Empress's tomb to create a blueprint before they started work on the reproduction. The dragons on the top of the crown are made by filigree inlay techniques. Historically, only the royal family could own or wear filigree inlay. The vivid blue on the phoenixes and leaves comes from kingfisher feathers. Only a few people know how to apply the feathers today, and the technique was almost forgotten. Also, only feathers from the back of the bird will work, and the variety of kingfisher used for the feathers is an endangered species, so acquiring the feathers was difficult. Fortunately, a few old master jewelers still had some feathers in their private collections and donated them when they heard about the project. The jewelers wanted the replica to be as authentic as possible, so they were careful to select rubies, sapphires, and other materials that closely matched those on the original crown for size, shape, color, and quality. The jewelry displayed on this mannequin is called Imperial Classics Descending from the Cloud. The set includes a necklace, bracelet, and a pair of earrings. They're made of 22 karat gold threads using all the techniques of filigree inlay art. The 22 karat gold threads are both easy to bend and have a rich gold color. The stones are dark jadeite that looks black under normal lighting. They're rose-cut to give them more reflective surfaces, which gives the jewelry a contemporary look, while the color combination of the black jadeite and the dazzling gold is very classic. The dress itself is also very special. The fabric, called yunjin, is also part of Chinese cultural heritage. It's made completely by hand, and one skilled fabric maker can only create about five centimeters per day. Lawrence Xu, a prominent designer of evening dresses for Chinese movie stars, made the dress specifically for this set of jewelry, and a well-known Chinese movie star, Pace Wu, wore it at the launch ceremony of this jewelry set, which was highly praised. This is a filigree vase. The original was owned by the Qing imperial family and is now in the collection in the Palace Museum. It was made using three different thicknesses of gold thread. Thick gold thread was used to construct the frame of the vase. Then the goldsmith used thinner threads in between the thick ones to form the curved grass pattern. And the thinnest thread was used in between the grass leaves to form the veins. Twelve separate units are connected to form the vase, joined together by a concave structure with the same grass pattern. It is an outstanding example of the delicate filigree inlay technique. This gemstone and pearl filigree necklace is a replica of a classical piece from around 600 AD. This piece has appeared in many art textbooks because it combines both Western and Asian artistic elements. The center stone of the necklace is a ruby surrounded by pearls. Below is a large lapis pendant. The necklace is composed of many gold filigree spheres, which can each be individually rotated 360 degrees. The necklace originally belonged to the granddaughter of Emperor Zhuan of the Xu dynasty, who died when she was only nine. 
Her grandmother, Empress Yan Lehua, was so heartbroken, she placed the necklace in the granddaughter's tomb. This sentimental gesture preserved it so that we can enjoy it today. This is a replica of a filigree Ming Dynasty woman's hair clasp in the form of a magical phoenix standing on a cloud. The majority of the phoenix's weight is concentrated under its chest, so the designer added weight to the right side of the cloud to allow him to center the support post. This piece is a filigree masterpiece of design, technique, and engineering. The design of this 22 karat gold filigree bracelet is three roses connected by branches of leaves. The stones in the center of the roses are dark jadeite, which provide contrast to the delicate gold work. This is a modern Zhao Yi design, not a replica. Thick gold threads were used to construct the outlines of the petals and leaves, and patterns of thin gold threads were used for the veins. Each petal was made separately and placed in layers to make the flowers more three-dimensional and lifelike. This is a filigree pot. The original is from the Qing Dynasty and is now part of the Palace Museum collection. Thick gold threads were used for the frame of the pot, while thin gold threads were knitted into grass patterns to fill the spaces in between. The cover of the pot has the same structure as the body. The pot is very light, but still very stable. It's a typical piece representing the peak of filigree inlay art in the Qing Dynasty. This is a gold replica of a hair decoration in the design of a flying goddess. The original is a national treasure from the 13th century AD. The goddess is flying freely in the sky and wears an elaborate crown and a soft flowing dress. Her facial features are clearly defined. The piece is not just beautiful, but is also a practical tool to hold hair. The original piece was recovered from the Kuhui Temple in the city of Datong, Shanxi Province. Genghis Khan's granddaughter admired a well-known scholar at the temple and gave him this flying goddess as a gift. This is a fingernail cover. Very thin gold threads were knitted to form the ancient coin pattern, and there's a butterfly decoration on the end. Fingernail protectors were only worn by women of very high social status or rank, and they could be made of any material such as enamel, not just gold. The Empress Dowager Cixi of the Qing Dynasty, who died in 1908, made fingernail protectors an important accessory, and the design and the technique to make them reached its peak during her lifetime. This filigree pendant is a miniature purse with a colorless jadeite center stone. The gold thread is woven like cloth, and the purse opens and closes. This is a very typical modern style filigree piece. This gold ornament is a replica of a Qing Dynasty masterpiece. It shows a young boy playing with a gold arowana, or dragonfish. The boy rides on the fish's dragon-like head and holds a Chinese traditional weapon called a ji. The pronunciation of Ji in Chinese also means good luck, so the designer used the weapon to symbolize good luck. The edges of this piece are a fine pattern made of extremely thin gold threads. This woman's hair ornament is a replica of a Qing Dynasty piece. On top is a little bowl looking backwards, and below it are clouds. A closer look reveals the detail of the eyes, ears, and muzzle of the bull. This is another woman's hair ornament. The original piece is from the Song Dynasty, which ended in the 13th century AD. It's made of two parallel posts capped by peony flowers with three layers of petals. 
the sides of the posts were engraved. This is a replica of a fragrance holder, also from the Song Dynasty. It's a heart-shaped box. The cover is decorated with flowers and grass patterns made of gold threads. Engraving was also used on the cover to make the patterns more alive. The case itself is made of thin gold sheets, which allows the cover to fit tightly over it. This is a purse made of 22 karat gold thread woven to imitate cloth. On either side, near the clasp, there's a carved chrysanthemum set with a ruby cabochon. This purse is a modern design. This is another modern purse design that makes use of many traditional skills. The main body of the purse is made of interconnected rings. Every individual ring is linked to four other rings around it, which allows the purse to move easily and gives it a soft, silky feeling. The opening has a carved leaf design with flowers. The four flowers have rubies in the center and petals covered with bead-set diamonds. The clasp is a leaf, also bead-set with diamonds. These modern designs demonstrate the creativity of today's Chinese jewelers while celebrating the traditional beauty of filigree inlay art and preserving the skills of their cultural heritage.